fentanyl crisis certainly leaving a deadly trail in cities and counties all over Colorado. Yeah, holding those responsible for getting that dangerous drug into our communities, one way to help combat the problem. Rick Sounder joins us live tonight at federal court. And Rick, you cover the sentencing today of a man learning how serious this is. Yes, Karen, the drug deal involved took place in a park in Colorado Springs. Instead of charging it there in state court, they brought it here to federal court in Denver, where it carries a minimum 20-year sentence. And that's what the dealer got. A cell phone with family photos, but one member no longer alive. He was an amazing person. We grew up together. We are really close. Um, he's only a few months older than I am. Caden Norlander was just 19 and planning to go to Colorado State. This is what ended his dreams. Fentanyl, two pills bought from a dealer. They are killing our children and they are killing our neighbors with this poison. And Nathaniel Corser is the dealer who pleaded guilty to fentanyl sales resulting in death. The victim's mother helped track him down through texts on her son's phone. I knew exactly who he bought from, when, where, there was a picture of the car. We had everything. An undercover fentanyl buy was then made by local and federal drug agents, determined to make sure this case was one to remember. To remove this poison from our communities, to go after the drug dealers who are peddling this poison. The defendant's mother held tissues and a rosary as the two-decade sentence was read, and another mother watched on. Hopefully. This will be a wake-up call for a lot of parents, kids, whatever, knowing one pill can kill you. The defendant's mother, Corser's mother, apologized. Rather, Corser apologized in court, and the victim's mother said he was probably told to say that. Live at federal court, Rick Challenger covering Colorado First. All right, Rick, thank you so much. These numbers show just how much of a problem fentanyl is in our state. In 2017, it took 81 lives in Colorado. In 2021, more than 900 people died from fentanyl. And that's not all. It's more of a problem in the metro area than other parts of the state. That same year, Denver, Arapahoe, Adams, Jefferson counties collectively had more than 60% of all fentanyl deaths in the state. And for every number, of course, there is a name.